da, 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 hey, Instagram, it's me, T, or T, or T, you know, you know who I am, from the Pattersons, taking the change to Tibet. This is a Monday, it's late Monday because, well, I was doing stuff today. Actually, I wasn't doing nothing, but I was doing stuff that was, don't worry about it. I, 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 you know, I actually didn't do no reading today. I, uh, I, I did a lot of, did some stuff. Star Talk with uh, Neil deGrasse and the, and the comedian guy. They make a really good team. I like the comedian guy because, you know, he speaks like the rest of us. Who are those highfalutin people, you know, those scientific-minded people. But he always connects the things. So it's good. Anyway, so I was watching him and a bunch of other, Brother Shaheed, I always check into him because, you know, he's like, he's like this generation's Malcolm X. His analysis and whatever, you know, it's really good. You know, Brother Shaheed, you'll find out. But, <clears throat> which brings me to a point. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wrote this up yesterday. But I spoke to my sister. It's kind of interesting. Because, you know, you speak to people who know you for a while, whatever. But it was interesting because I realized something. I see my family, you know, I have six brothers and sisters, you know. And uh, it's all spread out differently. Say so spread out differently, I should say it this way. Uh... Because my mother had seven children with six different fathers, right? And it's interesting because we don't think of each other as half, whatever. We just always say, brother, my brother, my sister. We, just, we never had that that business, right? So we were always like that. Anyway, what was what's interesting, interesting to me, right, this is where it comes to me, is that uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson had this sister on, oh, gee, I forgot her name already. The, the lab is named after her. She's very, very smart. She's from, from, from Guyana. Guyana has some smart people come through there. You know, well, well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the point, point is, uh, 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 and they're doing just, just genetic things, you know. And I think that, like, so, so, like, what happens to you, you know, you, usually you, 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 your children and sometimes the generation behind you, you know, do all these scientific studies like that. So I was, I was all say, oh, they have a grand time with me because what's going to happen with me? Since my mother, my, my mother, well, my father was was a one night stand with my mother. He, she, she didn't remember who he was. Really. Don't worry about that part. Well, I'm grateful. Like, look, I have this theory, right? You, as a person, you you come down to this realm and you choose the circumstances that you supposed to be in. I'm in the perfect sense circumstances for my pro my proclivities. Oh, the brother used a big word. Probably don't know what it means, but it doesn't matter. And so I said, now, now what would they make with me? Because since I don't, don't know who my, my father was, my mother was a one-night stand. I used to do this when I was a kid, too. People would say, oh, you you know, why are you the way you are? You da-da-da-da. I said, well, let, let's, let, let's look at it. My mother belonged to the streets. I didn't say it like that. My father was a one-night stand. Uh... The, if the fruit don't fall far from the tree, what am I? You know? Oh, they didn't have no, <laughs> no one has an answer for that. <laughs> anyway, what, what I realized, because cause I was talking to myself, because you know, she she's a great, she writes very well. She's a, she's a nurse, but you know, when she writes, there's no notes, but when she writes something, everybody up the chain analyzes what she writes, right? And if, when I was asked to, when I was asked to ever be AI, this was a joke. That was a joke. It was real. Like, I would write memos, but I, have, I would try to write one-page memos. Sometimes it would be one and a half page, but one page. You know, memos. But you, had, you used to have memos, you know, memo wars and stuff like that, and where you had, you know, you had the, the subject, the line, and that. So then, then, then my, my memo was there. And pe every time I wrote a memo, people got my memos. They they go through stuff, you know, or do, do the even. No, these are memos. You know, you have the paper, okay? And they come to my said, put that aside, I gotta read that <laughs> later because I write what's called dense pack. I would write stuff that's so dense you have to like, oh man, you gotta gotta analyze this thing, you know, like that. So I was trying to figure out how that was. My, my grandmother was very clever, smart, there it is. But what I realized, see, I'm the only one that had a, a sort of relationship with my mother. I can't explain this to you, but but she she was an iron lung most of most of her life, you know. So about six months after my sister was born, uh, then she, well, something that way. She was an iron lung, you know, and she was she was paralyzed. Right? Was not. But what was remarkable that she would she had, in the iron lung they had this thing where she had this it's like a pencil you know, with a like looked like an eraser on there, and she would read she would read she read a book and she would turn with her mouth with her 
it turned the page it was a book you know it didn't have the mirror there so she could read so she was a ferocious reader you know as am I my sister don't read so much but my point is this and even even this is, this is another interesting thing my mother's the only one that came to my high school graduation my grandmother didn't come to my high school graduation well my brother was whatever he was the other one's too young and my aunts were there nobody came you know but so my high school graduation my mother came to wheelchair and all right she gave me a present what did she give me a book it's called the naked eight by was that desmond morris right so she knew she knew what i like right what i'm trying to say is that if the tree doesn't if the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree that's that's an expression to, to, to how you act right but i happen to think that whoever my daddy was <laughs> And I know a month for so I, you you know you have that stuff in you you pass it on to your 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 spawn I got spawns because my children is, uh, anyway uh, so you don't you don't get away from I mean your lineage is your lineage it, it, it goes you don't leave it and uh, and what you put out there whatever the traumas whatever it's, 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 a lot of times you you say you're in a trauma situation but you can overcome a trauma you can. You know, I believe you can. So the point is this, right? Uh, what what I, I have this whole thing where I try to explain to people. I said, look, your mission. Well, you have to. You have to well, I said, what you need to do is find out so much about you. Go. Well, you can worry about other things, but learn who you are. Know thyself. Well, go. You know, whatever, whatever. Know thyself. And. I think in this day and age, it's, e it's, it's easy, not easier. But it, I think it's, it's, it's you can know yourself a different way. Let me explain, right? Uh, I saw this post a few days ago last week, and that some somebody was advocating that people over 60, 62 or something like that, when you were, whatever, they should, they, everybody should start a, 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 a podcast, a blog, or whatever, a podcast. You know, they should do like I'm doing, like talking into the, into the, you know, into the camera, uh, with your opinion. Everybody. And I say, yeah, you know, everybody, oh, especially if you're, if you're older, no matter what your experience is, you should, if it's just f five minutes a day, whatever, well, once a week, whatever it is, you know, you should communicate. You should, you know, put your thoughts out there because right now, you, what, what what's happening is, is the people who are on the internet, uh, and there are really some, right, I, it's another podcast I saw, it was, it was pretty good, I like it, but uh, uh, you, 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 they're not more value, uh, valuable than you are because sometimes they, they just be reposting things and saying blah blah I think this and blah blah well you do the same thing because when you do that just like writing not just like writing but similar to writing when you have to talk and then you, you a lot of you people are going to be vain and say although I got to edit this down I don't know so much work on this man I, <laughs> I'm talking to you like this is no there's no script I talk off the top of my head. There's no editing. I don't do. I could do post production if I wanted to, because I do have those skills. But no post production, right? If there's something that I made, I messed up. Like a, like the last week, I said something like, I was talking about uh, academic papers, and I, I, I mistakenly said uh, mythology instead of instead of uh, uh, your your your, uh, your your like like instead of, instead of methodology, I said mythology. But see, was this was beautiful about the internet? I could find that thing and I can, in the comments, I can go and correct myself in the comments. So there's nothing to be afraid of. You, you know, go ahead, say what you got to say. If you if you find yourself wrong, you got to make a collection, even this year, correction, years later, then, you know, just go into the comments and make a correction. And it says right there, you know, so you can make a correction. Which reminds me, the one important thing that I heard all week long is I listened to uh, Activist News Network, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, oh yeah, KPFK, uh, the program that that um, uh, Joe Horn, uh, uh, one of the executive producers of it, or something like that, and they play uh, they play Mamouya Abu Jamal's thing from Prison Radio. Oh, by the way, shout out to I don't know, I guess I don't know if Noel Hanahan is still around. I'm not saying anything right there, but Noel Hanahan started that uh, recording Mamia and put it up for Prison Radio. She started that thing, and I don't know Noel because she's out there in. Berkeley, California, South Central, wherever she was, you know what I mean? I visited one time. I lost my cell phone and the thing is from next door. So, no, that's, that's a long story. 
So anyway, so anyway, so the, uh, um, uh, this is important. This is, goes back to what I'm saying, not only about, about myself and also about you, who should be you know posting on on your on social media. Um, at the end, now Maria says something like blah blah blah, and then he says, uh, "No fear," right? Because when I went when about 2013, 2014, when I first came up to Alice, I was going back to some postgraduate studies. And what I know, I don't, I don't know, and I guess, see, I grew up with no fear. I had no fear. I, no fear. I mean, no fear. Dog bark, pff, you know, no fear. Now I'm dog bark. You know, it was kind of interesting because I forgot about that. But when I got to school and I had to do, you know, do some research, stuff, I realized that everything is based on fear. People are really are afraid. And they go like, what's the matter with you? It's, um, uh, why, what are you afraid of? The boogeyman? Oh, that's right. They give you the boogeyman all the time. I'm afraid of this. And they, they die. They, they, they get a new boogeyman, a threat of this, and a, 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 whatever that. And then you get afraid. You get afraid and paralyzed. So, no fear. Mumia says it best. No fear. So, I'm going to leave you with that. No fear. <laughs>